This is a demo of the Polystyle JavaScript Obfuscator. An obfuscator takes source code and makes it more difficult to read so that you can give it to other people and they won't be able to easily reverse engineer it. The Polystyle Obfuscator takes source code and it removes new lines. It takes the function and variable names and uh, scrambles them around so they're difficult to read and it strips out the comments from your source code. In Polystyle, it actually does two things. It has a formatter and an obfuscator. The formatter makes it so that the, the code is easier to read. And here we're going to talk about the, job, the JavaScript obfuscator, which makes it more difficult to read. So this is all for the, the Polystyle formatter. For the obfuscator, over here, you have uh, this tab for the obfuscator. And there's two steps that you, you go through to run it. First step is to set it up, and the second step is to actually obfuscate the code. So what we're going to do is I have this code over here, um, this, this JavaScript demo file, and we're going to take this code and we're going to scramble it all around. So first thing to do is to select the source. So we'll, we'll select this unobfuscated directory here as our, the, the base directory from which all the other code will be relative to. Uh, and then we'll select this obfuscated directory here as the output directory. The other options here, the secret key changes around how the uh, variables are obfuscated. The copy extra files option makes it so that if there, there are any other files in there like uh, large graphics files that you don't want to have copied over to your obfuscated directory, you can have those not included uh, by unchecking that, but we're going to leave that on. Package directories, that's only for languages that have the concept of a package, such as Java or ActionScript. For JavaScript, that's not used. And the symbol prefix is also not used for JavaScript. So for JavaScript, only the, the output directory and the source directory are needed. The other thing that you can do with the, uh, the Polystyle Obfuscator is you can make it so that it works with existing code. So if I had, um, let's say, a library of JavaScript functions that I wanted to have my, obf my obfuscated JavaScript still work with, and I want to make sure that th my calls into those, those functions were not jumbled around it and the, uh, the variables weren't changed, what you can do is select the, this, select the language that you want, and then select a directory that has all of your source code in it. So in this case, I don't have any extra external source code to, to search for. But what I would do was I would select a directory and then select OK. It would go out and it would look and see what's in that directory, find out all the symbols, and then store these over here in this directory. Um, for each language, it'll have uh, a file that it records all the symbols that are not obfuscated. And for instance, for JavaScript, I've already created for you all the symbols that are used by JavaScript internally, which should not be obfuscated. Uh, and so there's a file here of about, it's 8K long of, of stuff that it'll leave alone. So you can also, once you've collected uh, symbols from your, your external API, if you want to have some symbols that are in that API, but you still want to obfuscate those, like if there's some overlap that you want to have still be changed around, then you can use this option here to tell it to, to have those uh, functions be obfuscated no matter what. In this case, it's empty because there's nothing that I want to have obfuscated no matter what. And you can, you can also browse the symbol dictionary, which uh, tells you exactly how, to, uh, how, the fu how each function is mapped into what obfuscated symbol. So, most of that stuff you probably won't need to use, but it's good to know that it's there if you need it. Okay, one thing I forgot to do uh, was to save the directories that here. So after you've set things here, save the changes, it'll say okay, and now you can go over here and close this out. Now we're going to obfuscate our unobfuscated directory, and it runs. And now we can go and see what it did. Um, you can also run on the command line if you want to 
integrate this with some existing tool. So here is our un un unobfuscated version. You can look over here and see that the obfuscated version is all on a single line here, and it's replaced the variable names with very short uh, letters so that you can, your, your JavaScript will be much shorter than your original code. So there you have it. There is the, there's how to use the uh, Polystyle JavaScript Obfuscator. If you want to check it out, you can find it at polystyle.com. Thanks very much.